Hello Cookie Slowers! It's Nicole from Addison. In this video, we will draw a scheme of a cultural heritage of a whole municipality. So let's turn on the buffers after we added the transparency. We see that here we also need to add the buffer. So let's turn on that layer. And choose the elements where the buffers are needed. This will draw by we will draw by hand. This one will be buffered. And on the whole these are the uh, buffers we will draw and this one as well if there is a house I think we would like it to be in the village so let's draw a buffer around it as well and this one too We just select the features uh, as we did and then again go to vector multi distance buffer find the layer and select the features only and uh, 250 buffer will be with 32 segments and uh, that's it then we will take the buffers features and paste them to heritage zones and I'll add one for integer now let's uh, remove that buffer and we'll correct the buffers the zones around the heritage units we need to create a buffer around these as well so let's, uh, I will just copy some. First I will separate. This is one unit, so I will split multi parts. And then I will copy this, paste it and move it. Here. and paste it and copy it and paste it here and then I will unify those that are with the uh, two elements let's see let's remove some of these Yes, nice little capsule. We will of course merge this to one element. And we continue doing that for all intersecting units like this. Here we will need two elements, first for the outside uh, object and then the inside ones will be enclosed in this. See here, it is also another unit, judging by this uh, boundary here. So let's do that. I will not delete that, but I will definitely change the shape of it. Simplified a lot. and uh, make sure that it follows the shape notice that when you select the segment you select both nodes and you can move them simultaneously and we'll draw it green and because of void intersections is turned on it will not uh, it will subtract the volumes of these 
bubbles from water as well. So I can merge them later. Let's turn off avoid intersection now and continue. I say that this is closing something like it. And let's call it number two. And also let's add transparency to it. The outside line will be white with relatively good transparency and the inside lines will be thicker, thinner but uh, again with the same transparency. I think that will be better. Actually I won't do it. I will just use the number one for now, which is this, and uh, enter some points. This will be 4, 4, 1. We, we have to use a color ramp with only black. Gradient. And I will say this is black only. And we simply will change only one field, which will be this one. And we will change it like this. Apply, okay. And as you can see, all of our numbers are ready except these. So this one we will delete and we will add another one. Font marker number one with uh, a field that is transparent of course. And this will be one one and this will be one one. And let's sort them. Try OK. And uh, now we will change this. This will be 1. And uh, this will be and now I will copy paste and move and we continue drawing all of these visual points here we have another one looking down here we have cross up the hill, let's turn on the the shape there. I'm searching for it. Yes, obviously we will have a good view from the hill top view. And uh, let's turn on our last visual points. Heritage roads and areas and what else heritage zones and that's it that's our map completely ready to be exposed we just uh, let's turn on some other layers we will delete the zones, this one, this one, and uh, only add the zones without labels. Uh, 
Our label is apply OK. And that's it. Let's save this as a layer state. Save and we can easily turn between them. We go here and the layer combination is uh, already of course. It will turn off these layers and turn on the correct ones. So thanks for watching, it was a long video. I am actually tired of such a long work and um, this is how to create a, a whole complete scheme for heritage uh, using uh, underlay, which was georeferenced. And you see the whole four or five step process. First we created the, uh, the roots, then we created the zones around the objects, then the labels, and finally the viewpoints. And everything uh, merges together nicely into one coherent scheme which will be actually printed very soon. Thanks for watching, it's Nico Wale from Adisoft signing off and uh, I hope this video was useful for you, it showed some very nice tips and tricks how to create layers and uh, modify them in QGIS.